Hello there and welcome to Broad Lane Leisure. My name is Adrian. I'm going to demonstrate a power supply unit uh, made by a company called Sargent, which they call their EC400 system. So this is all uh, sort of replicated on the, on the front face down here. So it's got a company name, Sargent. As you can see, uh, it's got the name uh, of a, the appliance, which is a power supply unit. We sometimes refer to this on a phone call as a PSU. Uh, this is what we're coming to, and the model is an EC400 variant. Okay, so two areas on the consumer unit. Uh, we've got 12 volts, which is all on this side where my hand is, and we've got main supply all on this side. The 12 volt side of the system, you'll see that there is a system shutdown button. It's this black one, and when it's pushed in as it is right now, my finger's riding over the top of that switch, it's actually uh, in an on position. If I actually do that, it's now, I can't raise, run my finger over it without hitting that button, it's, it's sticking out. That's the off and should be, uh, that's the type of position it should be in if you're in long-term storage. Um, if you leave this live, it will be draining down your leisure battery. This item takes just under 0.8 of an amp out of a battery, um, waiting, it's like a TV on standby, it's waiting for its next uh, instructions. To be given to it and uh, it's drawing approximately 0.8 of an amp out of the battery so be aware of it long-term storage off when you're ready to use it on site push the system on you get a double beep above the door uh, which indicates that the supply is now at the at the door area in the control panel but just below uh, below that on off switch the system shutdown button you find a series of fuses uh, which are varying from five seven and a half uh, 10s, 15s and a 20 uh, and it uh, has a reference plate or an instruction uh, a little bit down here information so it tells you that fuse one is a 20 amp fuse well there's only one 20 amp fuse uh, displayed on there which is this yellow fuse on the fuse board so that's position number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten accordingly uh, as you go along the uh, progression of the fuse board. So that relates to position one and then going down, it tells you the size of the fuse corresponding to the location. And it also then gives you the function that that fuse covers. And these are 12 volt fuses. So a fuse blows, all that you do, take out that particular fuse and, uh, and replace it with a new one. Uh, so that's the fuses on the 12 volt side of stuff. So on the main side, we're coming over to the right-hand side of the power supply unit. We lift and raise the uh, perspex, uh, smoke glass perspex up, and we come into this particular area here. So we've got a test button and we've got a little lever that will trip out. It's called the RCD, residual circuit device. Uh, and basically when you do couple up to mains electrics for the first time, when you're on a site post, you should always come inside the caravan and press that yellow button in which will cause that lever to trip out. That is correct. If it doesn't do that, then you haven't got mains coming inside the vehicle. Uh, all that you need to do is reset it, is just to raise it up again, like so. And then these three levers down here are called MCBs, MCB1, MCB2, MB, MCB3. And in reference to what they actually supply again, just lower the front face of the door down and uh, if I move my legs out of the way, you will see on the on the front face here, again, an MCB1, it's a 10 amp supply, and it's serving the sockets, and the other corresponding two below there. So it gives you an idea of what uh, functions these three little MCBs do, and where they go to. Above them, we have got a series of lights. The red light, we don't want to illuminate. It says reverse polarity below it, uh, it's mainly going to be on the continent, where you may only have a two-pin plug that inserts into the socket. Uh, if it does illuminate up, it means that that plug is inserted the wrong way round. Live and neutral have been reversed, and all that you need to do is pull the plug back out, rotate it through 180 degrees and insert it back into the socket, and then that red light should disappear. Um, the charger light is a green light, and it's on, so that's uh, charging our leisure battery and keeping it in good condition. I personally, as soon as I arrive on site, if it has been turned off, I always turn it back on and uh, let it charge that leisure battery up. This one is for the water heater, the boiler, the combi boiler. Uh, it says heating and hot water. 
it's doing both functions so uh, located right in the front corner of this vehicle just over here this item here that's the combi boiler um, and that's just taking supply from here over to the boiler and uh, we do see that on the trimmer control panel that we have got a main supply uh, available if that switch is out like it is and it's in an off position yes we may be getting power over there but it's not registered on the uh, on the trimmer control panel and you won't see the the uh, plug symbol that's available and in which case it won't work so that has to be live this particular mcv or this particular switch has no relevance at all it could be left in an off position it doesn't have to be on it is spare as it says there so this allows us to put additional equipment mains equipment into the system should we require it such as an air conditioning unit may be fitted uh, as an optional extra or, or something of that variant uh, where we can then wire it in and fire that switch there should we want to many thanks for watching this video i hope you found it informative um, follow me on the my next video <laughs>